Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. We are so glad you've joined us today. In today's episode, we will be showing you how we charge our Chevy Bolt EV at the RV park. Yeah, this is an interesting uh, opportunity. Uh, and it's really important as the number of electric vehicles continues to grow, uh, RV parks are already set up perfectly uh, for RVs because most RVs, uh, EVs, that's me, I mean, uh, most <laughs> yeah. EVs can uh, get a full charge overnight off of the power on the uh, hookups there at the RV park. So uh, RV parks are already perfect for yeah. EV travel and uh, camping. So uh, get excited. If yeah. you got your Rivian coming, you got your uh, Tesla already towing a vehicle, or if you've got a little Chevy Bolt like ours, <laughs> like ours. whatever you've got, um, you can get a, a charge overnight and have the opportunity the next day to, to have wake up with a full charge and do all of your yeah. travel stuff. Yeah. So uh, it really is uh, a, an important thing we want to show you yeah. uh, so you can get excited about your future opportunities for camping with your electric vehicle. It just makes camping so much easier if your car is ready to go the next morning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you don't need to stop and charge, obviously, if you start out the day with yeah. uh, a full charge. And, you know, most EVs these days will get two, three, four hundred miles of range uh, and a substantial portion of that, even if they're towing a light trailer. So uh, this really, yeah. really is exciting. Yes. And so we're excited to show you how this yeah. works. OK, we're, we want to talk about uh, charging your EV at the RV park or the campground. And uh, so we've just got our little A-Liner Plus, uh, Gail standing right next to it with the camera. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, and so we've already got, you can see the cable coming out, we already have the trailer connected uh, to power. Now we hope to stop doing that soon. We've got the whole solar kit uh, yeah. we've been talking about, ordered and it's sitting at home waiting to be installed and uh, it's patient, but I'm not, so uh, <laughs> neither is Gail. Gail uh, wants this on the roof. We want it on the roof our, quickly. Our, yeah, our plan is to stop connecting to yeah. power because we want to get all of our power for the trailer from the sun. But uh, we, we won't be able to generate enough power to power the car too. So our Chevy Bolt needs to plug in and of course, uh, these campground connections are really powerful, so they, they give you a full charge. Now, uh, Gail and I have two chargers that we have, and uh, we use our regular 110 charger at home all the time. This is how we charge, with just this regular outlet that you uh, can use, it, uh, you know, the same kind of thing that you use to plug in your vacuum or your laptop, right? Um, but then this, this bad boy here is designed for a lot more power. And it's the kind of power that's typical in an RV park. I, I, I'm not even sure if it's 30 or 50 amps, but it's a big chunk of power and so it'll charge the car a lot faster. Um, the great thing about an RV park is you're going to be there overnight almost by definition, right? So uh, you don't need a 50 kilowatt charge or a 150 kilowatt or 350 kilowatt charger because you're going to be there for hours and hours. So one of these two solutions is likely to work for you. Um, you know, if our little Chevy Bolt, the 110 outlet would be good. But let me just show you, Gail, if you can scooch up here, to get into this, this shot here, you can see that this, uh, this RV park has three different outlets. It actually has four, two 110 outlets, and uh, you can just plug this in, right? And then we've got the, I think it's the 30 amp uh, connection here. We just push that in. And then both of these happen to be the same brand. I didn't even notice that until just now. It's it's Duo Cita or something, Duo Cita, I don't know how they say it. But uh, that red light tells you we've got power on this 110, uh, 110 volt charger. And then on this uh, 220 volt charger, we've got uh, a 
a power light there too so we've got power so Perfect. we can plug either one of these wow. into the car now so they're both good to go nice how easy was so, that yeah and of course it's really important to remember to plug these into power before you plug them into the car either either one plug them power in first and then plug the charger into the car and of course this is the familiar uh, connection for connecting it into the car so we'll plug that into the car great so C thanks car everybody cars. thank you so much for joining us today yeah we're thank you we're just so thrilled to have you on our team we love to hear from you so please comment on our video or on our newsletter uh, or, you know, one easy way to be in touch is just to reply to our newsletter. So if you haven't signed up, visit OurSolarTrailer.com, sign up, and then you can just reply to our emails when they come. So we love hearing from you, look forward to it, uh, and we hope to see you again soon. Bye.